one's going to be a little different. Uh, I'm not going up to any mountains today. For a field day, I'm going to be emergency power in my home station. So that's a one echo. Um, just doing something different. I've been out to the field a lot and uh, wanted to see how my station does on emergency power. So that will be the video for today. All right. Welcome to field day 2020. So it's Saturday morning. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is. It's it's well before the start time here at uh, in Utah. We start at noon, and um, it's probably about nine o'clock, I guess. I'm going to start with uh, solar so that I can get the natural power bonus, and so that's I have these two panels out here. Um, they're not really aimed for the sun just yet. I've been I've had them out for the last several days charging. And that goes into the garage here and into the um, solar generator. So just the control right there. Inverter. I'll show you inside real quick. Just got two big batteries hooked up to each other. And... Um, that's hooked up, of course, down to my power source. And so the radio's on. I just actually I have it on. Whiskey went off of Whiskey's um, channel because I just got the uh, field day message on CW. It's kind of fun to copy. Good message for this year. So I'll show you a, a larger view of the shack. It's a messy shack. I'm not really one of those really neat shack guys. Um, just got what we call wallpapered on uh, on the walls. Painting. Just some miscellaneous things. The map. Um, got the grounding bus over there. Uh, my bookshelf that has keys. Way too many keys, probably. The uh, radio library. And like a lot of hams, I have boxes of stuff and gear and equipment and probably junk that I won't use for years. Then I've got one more painting over Besides here. Besides the side. keys, um, yeah, I luckily have a bathroom, so I don't have to go back into the house. This is an outbuilding, just because it was used as a shop before I got the house. Um, so this is the uh, workbench area. It's where I have projects. It's messy. It's got project boxes and just all sorts of electronic stuff and wire and, you know, different things that my um, soldering iron. And uh, I guess that's it as far as the shack goes. Once I've played with the solar for a while, I'm going to switch over to the uh, generator, just the little Honda EU2000. And uh, that cord I have right now, the solar generator, I'll just plug in the back of this and start it up. And uh, I'll just test how long it goes before I need to change out or before I need to fill the, uh, the gasoline. And we'll just keep doing that throughout the day, see how it goes. So today's equipment will be the Yesu 991 Alpha. It's my home station radio. Um, really enjoy it, it's a good radio. I'll be keying with uh, Bencher. Bencher makes great keys. I have, as you saw in the shack, tons of other kinds of keys. I also use a um, Big Ollie a lot, but uh, today I'm gonna be using the Bencher. Um, got my headphones over here and then I'll head on out and show you the uh, the antenna for today the antenna is a DX engineering vertical um, 43 feet tall As you can see the back is not a large area so I have a lot of radials to make up for the smallness of it but it has always worked well for me so that's what's the equipment for today
All right, so about the first two hours and just a little bit um, started. I um, did about, I did 46 contacts with the solar. Uh, that's what the map looks like so far. Let's switch over the generator, see how long one uh, tank lasts. So we'll see. All right, taking a break. It's uh, just about 9 p.m. And uh, I have, I think, about 180 CW contacts. It's not a ton, but it's not terrible. Um, the generator is really surprising. It's still going. It's going on. It hasn't, it didn't, I didn't start from the beginning. So it's uh, going about six and a half hours now on the on just one fill up which is pretty good so gonna have something to eat and then get back to it all right well it's 11 o'clock in the evening i currently have 253 contacts still got some blanks in there i need to fill in but uh, I'll be calling it a night tonight. Uh, there's the map, some obvious holes still, but I uh, had a lot of fun. So I've got to say the uh, generator has impressed me. I've never tried to run it dry and uh, it's going on nine hours and still running. I use that for, well, since I turned it on, um, running 100 watts with radio, and uh, it's been doing great, so good job, Honda. Okay, well, field day's over. Good experience, good times, lots of fun. Uh, ended up getting one DX, which was Balearic Islands off of Spain, last half hour or so. Ended up with uh, two... 153 contacts decided to do a run at the end to get a few more and um, it was fun see you out there next time